Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for attending today's webinar on auto buying and financing. We're so excited to have our very own Consumer and Loan Officer, Selena Cortez, here to present to you all today. She will go through the auto buying process, as well as the financing options and signing and closing the deal. If you have any questions throughout the presentation, please use the questions feature within the GoToWebinar system, and we will try and answer all the questions at the end of the presentation. I will now hand it over to Selena. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's my pleasure to be able to um, you know, provide this information for you guys. Um, as being at the credit union for over six and a half years and another 10-year experience at another credit union, uh, very happy to um, have this very um, important information for you guys. Um, again, as um, we stated, if you do have any questions, let us know at the end of the presentation and we'll be more than happy to um, assist you with um, those um, questions. Um, so first of all, um, a couple of things that we're going to do um, is, um, of course, you may consider this your new vehicle. Even though it may be a used vehicle, um, you, it may be your first vehicle for you, so technically for you it's new. Um, when is it um, a good time to buy? Uh, as uh, far of experience with other members and myself, um, buying or car shopping is not easy. Um, you, of course, go to the dealership and um, end up driving out the lot with a vehicle, but there's a lot of other um, homework you can do before going. Um, typically, people like to go car shopping when it's a holiday or maybe when you do need a car. Um, current vehicle, so I would say first things to consider. Um, if you have a vehicle now, why are you wanting to um, get another vehicle? Is it because you're upgrading, uh, training in a vehicle, passing on your current vehicle to a family member, um, needs any special changes in your family, of course, um, you have a new job, your family's growing, uh, or you're downsizing, whether your kids left already and um, you just want to go for a, um, a lower uh, or smaller vehicle. Um, again, your dream car, your car, your truck that you are potentially looking into um, getting, what is, uh, how much do you want to spend on that dream car? Again, your financial situation. Let's check and see about um, you're going to be relocating, um, if you are going to be getting a pay increase. Um, all of those things are um, items that you have to be able to look into and review about your, your needs, about determining about how to buy a car. Um, now we're going to go over now determining what are your needs, wants and what you can afford. Um, you do have to talk, kind of review what your income is. Um, a lot of people do say, you know, I'm going to make, I do make $50,000, but I'm going to get a $40,000 $40, vehicle. Um, is that something that you really want or you need? Um, what's going to happen with your other financial needs? Um, so it's all of those um, things you would have to consider to see uh, whether you can afford to make that payment or um, is that something you really want to get yourself into. Um, the um, other need about this is portion you'll finance. I've come into um, with other members where um, they may not have a down payment and the goal um, here is absolutely able to finance up to 100% of the vehicle value, meaning the retail price or the MSRP price. We'll come into um, those um, definitions later on the presentation. 20% uh, is usually what we recommend. Um, the reason behind that is if you are ever going to trade in this vehicle down the road, you don't want to have negative equity rolled into the new loan. Um, otherwise, um, you know, it keeps going um, as a chain, you know, rolling negative equity and um, not coming into a positive equity at one point. Um, so it's absolutely consider about having a down payment if possible. Um, have a little bit of a savings um, maybe set up for that if in the future you're planning on buying a car. Um, also, um, next topic here, low rates uh, finances versus paying for cash. Um, a lot of people do save up and have cash for um, to pay for a vehicle. However, if you have good credit or fair credit, we can absolutely help you get a uh, lower APR and maybe you can keep your cash 
for you for any other special needs or emergencies. Um, I would say hold on to your cash. There's always um, the option of being able to pay off your loan earlier. Um, and there are no prepayment penalties at all. Um, I always joke around with my members, if you win the lotto and you took this loan out today, you can absolutely pay it off tomorrow with absolutely no, no fees at all. So absolutely, I would say hang on to your cash, you know, kind of doing a little bit of math. When I purchased my vehicle, um, having a rate of 1.74, that's only about $900 for um, the entire four years or five-year loan, um, and of course I hang on to my cash for any other um, special uh, emergencies or any other um, special needs in, in the household. So absolutely consider um, financing and then keeping hanging on to your cash. Alrighty, talking about your budget, um, as I stated earlier, you know, take a look and um, absolutely do the math of what are your current expenses. Um, know what your income is. Um, a lot of people take a look at the uh, gross amount, uh, which is basically what Andrew will look for in terms of approving you for a loan. Um, however, the net pay, uh, what you want to do is absolutely set up a budget or work on a budget, adding up all your expenses. Um, after you add up all your expenses and subtract your take home, subtract that from your take home pay, that's what's left for you to spend on a car. Um, keeping in mind, of course, what is it that you can afford. Um, now you're going to have to pay for other um, expenses for the vehicle, such as insurance, um, gas, and maybe other potential breakdowns on the vehicle, too. Um, so absolutely take a look, a very close look at your income, um, just to make sure that you are able to, um, to um, afford this monthly payment for your new loan. Um, and then again, um, based off experience and on other, um, you know, financial situations that I've spoken to other members, you don't want to put yourself at over 70% of your annual salary on a loan amount um, just to be able to see if you um, can absolutely afford that payment. Um, our next slide show here does show you all the different terms that uh, we uh, here at Andigo have available. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean this is um, set for, of course, not for a specific person, but just to kind of give you a budget and um, the different terms and rates that we may be able to have. Um, so we have up to um, 84 months. And looking at the graph, if you look at um, a 2% rate, um, if we are able to um, do a loan for 60 months, um, you know, looking at a uh, 2% rate at about a payment of $438 versus having a loan for 84 months at 320 That does save you a little bit of uh, money and you have a little bit of more cash flow opportunity. Um, again, taking the longer term also may be a good option if you really want to have um, a loan for a higher amount, uh, but again, with no prepayment penalty. So you kind of can um, review and compare um, the different terms and the different payments, um, just to give you a little bit of um, information on that, and that way you can kind of see um, where your budget could be. Um, this is based off 25000 of course. Um, we can always, um, before you're getting ready to apply, we can run some payment calculations for you, and that way you can determine what um, would be a best term available for you. Um, the other expenses that we were talking about, um, insurance. Um, one of um, my recommendations always is to go ahead and get a quote from um, your insurance agent, um, especially at a younger age. You want to make sure that you're not going to be overpaying for insurance. Um, get different quotes from different um, insurance agencies. Um, we have come to, um, you know, if you're a parent and you're wanting to buy a car for your son or your daughter, Go ahead and get a, um, a quote adding them as drivers because it does give them a little bit of a savings as well on the premium. Um, again, keeping in mind on your budget um, about um, maintenance on the vehicle. Uh, we are actually very lucky to have um, extended warranties available. We call it mechanical repair coverage at Andigo. 
not necessarily meaning you have to finance um, the uh, warranty into the loan. Uh, we can absolutely have members pay for it separately. Uh, that is, of course, an option. Um, in terms of that budget, going back again, any add-ons. Um, basically, we talked about um, expenses for fuel, uh, maybe tire replacements, and of course, other expenses on your vehicle. So very important to keep these other um, items in place when you are budgeting for your uh, car payment, just to make sure that you are able to afford it and before you get yourself into um, you know, a financial um, situation that you may not be able to afford. Now, finding your financing. At Andigo, usually what we like to do is we have the option of you being able to get yourself pre-approved. Uh, we have various options. You can either give us a call here, um, you can submit the application online, um, or um, the other option is where we can set up something for us to connect with you and be able to um, go over some details. Um, basically, um, submitting the application, being able to uh, expedite it for you if you're in the market of um, getting a vehicle the, right the next business day. Uh, so that option we do have available, um, and we'll be more than happy to hear from you to be able to get that um, uh, financing here with Andigo. Um, a few little tools that you actually will be able to find on our website too um, with um, um, our car coach tool. Uh, the truth about that zero percent on any rebates. Um, I actually had a member just recently who um, was telling me about the rebates they were getting at the dealership. They technically were forced to go and finance um, with them only and because they were getting an additional rebate. Um, come to find out at the end, they ended up giving them a 5% uh, interest rate um, via rebate. Only one of the rebates happened. So just make sure that you guys do the research in terms of any rebates available, especially if you are a student, if you work for a company, that um, they may be able to give you any discounts for working there. Um, and um, you know, being in the military, you also can get a potential rebate for that. Um, so absolutely do your research. Um, looking at the table here, if you look at the comparison, you actually end up saving about $602.40 for taking Andigo's rate of 1.74 with the dealer rebate and, um, not, and, of course, taking the manufacturer's rebate as well. So that's a total rebate of uh, $5,000 instead of just going with the 3500 with a 0%. So looking at the total, you would absolutely save about $602 minimum. Um, doesn't mean that that's the max you will be able to pay. You actually can save more by uh, paying off the loan earlier. So keep that in mind. Um, it's absolutely, um, you know, when you get to the dealership, they try to tell you uh, this is the best option for you to go, and here it's giving you the information that you do need to be able to review any other rebates or find out about any other rebates available before you sign any documents. Um, I always say if it's a need and you need to drive the vehicle out the lot, you know, there's truly nothing you can do about that, and, you know, we'll be able to refinance the loan, but if it can save you a little bit of money, I absolutely guarantee that Andigo will be able to give you a, a much better rate than what they will be able to offer you. Um, shopping around, so I did um, talk about this a little bit earlier before. Um, shop around, there are absolutely various, um, you know, websites that you can visit. Uh, we work with CarCodes, so CarCodes, of course, will be able to get you the lowest possible discounts available for members. Uh, we do have that partnership with them. Um, you can actually go directly to our website and be able to get a quote. Um, so um, do that. Absolutely, truly recommend doing that. And again, going back to the uh, discounts and incentives, um, such as for new students, um, military members, and your employer, make sure you do your homework and um, see what options are available for you. Uh, but I know um, looking at car codes, it'll give you absolutely, um, um, depending of course on the vehicle that you may be purchasing, and also if they're not on high demand, uh, you can absolutely negotiate invoice or even below invoice pricing on, on the vehicle. 
Um, with, with CarQuotes, you're absolutely able to get an online pricing report. Um, so that's very good because it gets emailed to you um, and it's already a pre-negotiated price for you, which means you don't have to go to the dealership and try to negotiate that pricing. You just go in there, let them know this is what you got. Um, you, of course, belong to your credit union and that's the pricing that you were able to get. Um, negotiating around the uh, invoice price absolutely is what we recommend um, as that's what CarCoach is going to give you. MSRP, again, keep in mind that's the manufacturer's suggested retail price. So that's what they suggest that should be sold, not necessarily meaning that's what you should pay for the vehicle. So always, always absolutely negotiate around the invoice pricing. Um, when I did my car shopping for my vehicle, um, I actually did a little bit of research on various sites as well. Um, Edmunds.com is basically a, a very good site that I would recommend. Um, they do show you any current rebates available uh, from the manufacturers as well as um, uh, the new student programs, military. Uh, so I would absolutely recommend going to that website, check them out before you um, do go car shopping. Um, and just to give you a little bit of information on car quotes, that's not only on new vehicles, it could also be on used vehicles. Um, but to you, of course, like I said, it may be new. Alrighty, so trade in values. If you are um, in the market or pass, looking into a trading in a vehicle, um, we do recommend to do a, a little bit of research and uh, see what your vehicle is worth. Um, I even have sent people to um, CarMax, believe it or not, just to see if they're getting a good deal on their vehicle or not because if you trade in a vehicle, absolutely they're not going to give you the retail price of it. They do have different um, different items that they look for, so they look at and take it in as a rough trade in. Um, clean trade-in and uh, regular trade-in value. So depending on the condition of the car, um, absolutely we we'll recommend to go to um, NADA.com. Um, NADA is what we use to be able to determine the retail price of a vehicle. And they do give you the, um, the uh, trade-in values for your vehicle too. So absolutely feel free to um, go to that website. It's called NADA, which you're seeing on, on the pre or you'll see on the previous um, uh, slide out here um, and um, that way um, you'll be able to see what your your vehicle pricing is okay um, so absolutely um, we recommend to pay less than the retail price of the car so that you are able to um, negotiate that pricing of the, um, the new vehicle you are getting um, buying process with um, Andigo. Uh, so uh, inform the dealership that you have already obtained your financing through your credit union. Um, I was just sharing with my colleague here that um, as long as or once they hear credit union, they get very nervous and they know who they're dealing with. Uh, so don't be don't be afraid. It just mentioned you have your um, credit union financing um, your loan for you, and um, they they do know that we help our members look at values for vehicles and give you information on what you should be able to um, get for your trade-in. Um, again, you know we don't know how your vehicle looks, so that may be a little bit different. But again, you know absolutely give us a call or uh, feel free to research our website to um, be able to uh, look at those values. Um, the process after that is once you come into a decision on the vehicle, uh, the dealership would just need to send us the purchase agreement. Uh, we accept it via fax or via email. Uh, once we receive that purchase agreement, of course, uh, we will be uh, contacting you uh, to discuss your final um, terms of your loan, such as uh, payment dates, um, interest rate, and so forth, so on. Um, after completing that information with you, uh, we will be uh, sending some um, documents to you. Usually we do this electronically. We do have the option of you being able to come to the credit union, but um, absolutely it's just uh, convenient that we are able to send you everything electronically. You complete all the documentation. After everything is completed, we do go ahead and overnight the check directly to the dealership. 
Um, some dealership, of course, are able to let you drive the vehicle home without having a check in hand, and then we just take care of getting the check overnighted to them. Um, and after that, you're able to go ahead and, and pick up your vehicle if you have not already done so. Um, so that, that, of course, is something that, um, you know, makes it a lot more easier because you don't have to come to the office and pretty much drive all the way here and then be able to drive back to the dealership to pick up your car. So very, um, you know, very easy to um, be able to get a hand of the check and get it over to the dealership. Um, we do have a, um, another little incentive here for members, and this is only for Andigo members. Uh, so we've partnered with Bonus Drive, which gives you $500 cash rebate. Um, so very, very uh, $500 cash, who wouldn't want that, right? Um, so basically, all you got to do, there are certain vehicles, and um, we have this website here for you guys that you can uh, review it. Um, it does give you information on eligible vehicles, so you'll just click on that, depending on the type of car you're getting. Um, and this is um, basically once you have done your purchase, and it's actually not available only on purchase. It's if you decide to lease a vehicle, which of course Handigo currently doesn't do, but if you do decide to proceed with a, um, with a lease, you can still get $500. Um, usually how that works is you submit the uh, form or fill out the rebate form um, after or within 60 days of the uh, purchase. And then usually uh, within six weeks, you'll receive your check um, by mail. Um, and again, this is only for Andigo members only, um, so which is it's a very nice incentive um, regarding um, this little extra cash, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, because um, it's not open to just to anyone. Um, I believe we've gone over everything here, um, so we're going to um, go ahead and open it up for any questions that you guys have. Um, again, I'm very happy that we were able to um, share with you a lot of information about how to, um, you know, all these tools about how to save time and money. Um, again, you know, negotiating the price, getting that pre-negotiated um, car pricing, and, um, you know, we want to make it a, a very good experience for you. Um, there is uh, my contact information here, my phone number, email. If you um, have any questions, absolutely feel free to email me or call me directly. Um, I'll be more than happy to um, assist you.